listening to On Air Radio, jazz with a fresh beat. Keep it tuned right here. Coming to you live on air, this is Harry Live on On Air Radio. Don't go away. Thank you for joining us today. This is On Air Radio with your host, Harry Live. We'll be back. This is your host, Harry Live, coming at you live on air on On Air Radio. Don't change the channel. This is Harry Live, and you're listening to On Air Radio, the kind of stuff you won't hear on any other radio station or in any mathematics classroom. You're listening to On Air Radio, the only radio station that's on air. This is On Air Radio with Harry Live, saying there's something wrong with anybody who needs to be told that you shouldn't believe in imaginary numbers. As a lot of my regular listeners know, I'm a a bit of a math nut, and I've been keeping up on the latest videos. Well, I've got news for you people that is going to blow your mind. Based on what we know right now, we have good reason to believe that numbers larger than one don't even exist. Two, three, four? Forget it. It's a complete myth. A dozen eggs? Think again. Makes you wonder what other things we believe in that are just the mind playing tricks on us, trying to make sense of this crazy world of ours. It's a lot to take in. I know. Try to take it in small doses. For now, let's get back to the music. Hey there, folks. We're back. Harry Live, here with another pearl of mathematical wisdom. Now, I realize a lot of my listeners don't know too much about math. And I sympathize. I used to be the same way. Until I decided to wake up and pay attention. Length times width times height? That's old news. Today we're talking about complex objects. And, 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 and the funny thing about it, the more complex it is, the less volume you have. In other words, if it's the most complicated thing you can imagine, it's probably made out of almost absolutely nothing. Think about that. Now I'll let you get back to the music while I see what I can figure out about gauge theory. Time for another letter from the pile. This one is from Aaron on the South Side. Dear Mr. Live, you probably don't realize this, but you sound a little like one of those conspiracy theorist numbskulls. Well, you can say so, Aaron, but I, I, I think you've got things a little backwards. It's true, there are some bullying, insufferable, insulting, browbeating, condescending, arrogant blowhards out there who will fill your head full of their lies until you can't even see straight. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Math teachers. There is a cabal in our midst, people. My regular listeners know it. I know it. Aaron, you might still be on the fence a little, I guess. But keep paying attention. You'll get it. All right, that's enough letters for now. Let's get back to the program. We get loads of fan mail here at On Air Radio. All good, very few exceptions, but you know, we like to be fair and balanced here, so once in a while I'll take a letter from the naughty pile. Here's what Heath has to say for himself. <clears throat> Harry, 
The only reason people listen to your show is that you're a grumpy, angry clown, and they like it when you get them all riled up. Ah, uh, Heath, my listeners tune in because they want the truth. And, as we all know, the surest way to truth is mathematics. Now, that might be something you know very little about, Heath, but you keep paying attention. You're bound to get it eventually. This is Harry Live, and we are on air. You're listening to On Air Radio with me, Harry Live. Let's take a moment to think about our favorite number, pi. We all know pi. Pi r squared, 2 pi r. Everybody loves pi, right? Wrong! Pi is a lie. The number pi is the greatest deception of our time. The real number, ladies and gentlemen, the real number is tau. The circumference of a circle is two pi. No, 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 no. It's one tau. But did your math teacher mention any of this? Oh, we all know the answer to that. There is a cabal in our midst. People, think about it. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back. You're listening to On Air Radio, and it's that time of the day when we touch base with our listeners. It looks like Randy Who from The Heights just wrote in, Mm-mm. Isn't all radio on air? What's so special about on air radio? Well, the answer is really quite simple. You've got a favorite beverage. You've got a favorite day of the week. Heck, Randy, you probably even got a favorite nut. You're gonna have to pick a side. And when you do, Randy, we'll still be the only radio station that's on air. Keep it tuned right here, people. This is On Air Radio with your host, Harry Live. This hour, we're talking about a little thing called infinity. And when I say a little thing, I actually mean two little things. Now, imagine a, a tiny grain of sand. Now, you take that piece of sand and split it into an infinite number of atoms. You got to infinity, but still, all you're looking at is a, a piece of sand. But, on the other hand, if you keep putting the pieces together and add up all the little grains of sand in the universe, that's when you get to the big infinity. Two different infinities, ladies and gentlemen. Big one and a little one. But you mention that to a math teacher, they'll look at you like you don't know arithmetic. You know why that is. My regular listeners get it. All right, that's enough truth for now. Time to get back to the program. You're with us on On Air Radio, and we're keeping it real today. Just the fundamentals everybody's comfortable with. Uh, addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division. What could go wrong? Division. People, division is the greatest threat of our age. And yet some people, some people dedicate their lives to making themselves part of the problem. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Math teachers. A math teacher will just sneer at you and say division is simply multiplication by the inverse. Well, that's all well and good until you get lower than one and the numbers start to skyrocket. Oh, and don't even think about dividing by zero. That's not infinity, ladies and gentlemen. That is an undefined number. You plug that number into a computer, you just gave that computer permission to do anything it wants. You want to take a nincompoop, unfit to operate a calculator, and give them the power to set off a global apocalypse? Think about it! All right, we'll be back after this. <laughs> <laughs> 